This is Vaughn with Open Source Automation. We are going to install version 044 on a test machine here and walk you through it and give you a tour. We just take all the defaults here and we'll go to program files. My SQL was previously installed. This will install the actual database, but you need to get that installed ahead of time. Uh, we're about version 5.6 now. If you want to use a different web server and you don't have a util dev on there, when it pops up, you can always just cancel it and use your own web server. Otherwise, it'll take care of everything for you. Okay, it said it was done, and I told it to start the service. Now, the service actually takes a minute or two to start. So if you work too fast, uh, maybe things aren't, uh, aren't uh, running yet. And we'll demonstrate that one by when it fully starts, the speaker client will acknowledge it's running. And that's when you know things are really going. The first thing I always like to do, and you can make a shortcut or whatever you want, but I always like to start manager. Manager will start and stop the service, and it also enables plugins. So, like the network monitor is not running, but I, I could turn that on. Speech client started. Now, that was a coincidence when I clicked that. That's actually this program down here saying it's fully running. And then when it does that, basically the service is fully running. So, I'm going to start the website right away. Because that will set up my user account. And this is a slow laptop, but I don't want to edit this out. I want you to see everything in real time. And this is just a really cheap test machine here in i3. And it's running Windows 8, and it is 64-bit. And we now only support 64-bit because, again, even a cheap test machine like this comes in 64-bit. I'll leave my password blank just for simplicity here. And then here, name is not case sensitive. Now, based on my name, we can see it made an object, and that's why I capitalized in that first time, so it always looks nice and neat. So now we're in the web page, and we're on the objects tab. This is really the core of everything, and I know this is not a pretty screen, but basically everything is an object to us, whether it's a person or a room or a graphical object on a screen or a plug-in. They're all described by objects and certain types of objects. So if we click on Bond here, we'll see he's a person, and you can change the type of object, and you can create new types. But this way it knows how to describe Vaughn, Vaughn has a birthday, home phone number, things like that. And you can add details about people. So um, I've also included these rooms here. You can delete them if you want. You can rename them. You can take any room, let's say take the bathroom, and say you have a basement, but you don't want to type very much. Change that to basement. Click add. And we have a new room in the house called basement. So that's why I left you some sample data. They're just as easy to delete. Now if we go to screens here, we can see that for the sample data, I also gave you sample graphics. And this one here shows the new lighting. This, this room is considered dark by a photo cell, so it shaded it dark. You can't really edit the graphics from the web page here, but it does a good job of displaying them. So for that, let's go ahead and start up the screens application right away. Now, we can see the same image on here, except for this is a little better for desktop computers, touch screens. You can make hide the borders. Uh, but the best thing is, is you can go into edit mode. And now by right-clicking any of these graphics, you can replace them with your own graphics. So there's no need to 
to delete this bedroom and create a new bedroom. Just come in here, rename the bedroom if you want, give it a new image, update it. Um, you can even animate the graphics with up to three frames and set how fast those animations run. And then you can also edit the screen itself now. So you say add edit screen. So we can change the background image itself, rename it. Or if we want to start a brand new screen based on this, we can say, you know, add a add a new screen. Now if we right click, uh, oops, let's get out of edit mode, switch screens, we can see our new screen is there. And, we, and it has no objects on it. So it's really nice. You can do a lot of the graphical design and updating from here uh, and edit all your existing controls. But these, again, are graphical representations of the bedroom. The bedroom itself is an object. So you really want to do anything, it is from this object tab. We go to the bedroom. We can see it's vacant. We can occupy it. Uh, we can change the light level here. So let's change the light level to 50%. You know, we can see here, see the lighting has changed and it's also changed here. There's also a lot of sample data. And uh, besides objects, patterns are real important. Maybe that's not the best name. That's basically just sentences, English, that the system can understand. Uh, and this, uh, these capital words like objects and states teach it sentence structures about dealing with objects, their states, their properties. And these work for any object you ever make. So they're very helpful. And then they pretty much have matching scripts. Uh, so when they hear that sentence, the script tells it what to do and how to process that information. But look here, one line. This, these are all very simple. And they work for hundreds or thousands of different objects. Uh, so pretty useful. and then scheduling. And we'll go into these different subsections in detail in other videos. But you'll see here's the sample graphics. If you don't want them, just delete them here. Go down, import your own images. Give them the same names, then they'll drop right in place and work. Or give them new names, you'll have to go in and make some other updates then. But the voice recognition is in place and will work for all of this. So you should be set. Hopefully that helps you get started.